Well, one of the best things about this time of year is watching all of the leaves change colors. It's so beautiful and there are lots of places in Maryland that you can take in this natural beauty and they're completely free. WMAR2 News' Abby Isaacs takes us on a fall foliage tour in this week's Trips That Make Sense. The stunning colors of fall, the reds, yellows and oranges, are starting to make their appearance across Maryland. Maybe about two weeks ago in the far western counties, but for most of the state, the changes are just now starting this week. Last week's foliage report from the Department of Natural Resources showing we'll soon be in peak leaf peeping time. If you want to plan a trip, the Maryland Office of Tourism has lots of recommendations on how to see the foliage on foot, in the water, or by car. You can either plan out your trips to be like a great fall weekend trip, or it can be a spur of the moment trip based on how great the weather is. Get outdoors at Baltimore County's Oregon Ridge Park, where hiking trails, beaches, and a playground feature a treescape backdrop. Head north to the peninsula between the Chesapeake Bay and the Elk River to Elk Neck State Park. A one mile walk leads to the historic Turkey Point Lighthouse. Climb 35 feet to the top for spectacular views of the bay's waters, brilliant fall foliage, and maybe even a bald eagle. Just a short drive away is the town of Charleston, where you can take in autumn's colors from the water by renting a paddle boat, kayak, or pontoon. Across the state, there's also trail systems for biking, kayaking, and canoeing. And if you want to enjoy everything from the comfort of your car, there's lots of options with our scenic byways. Drive to the Valley Overlook in the Hollowfield area of Patapsco Valley State Park for a sprawling view. Or embark on the Horses and Hounds Scenic Byway, which connects Hunt Valley to Towson, where you can take in the sights while learning the history of fox hunts and steeplechases in the area. Prices for the different trips vary based on park admission or rentals. But regardless of what you choose, the beauty of leaf peeping season is there's always a free option. You have your pick across the state of like front row seat for the best colors and it's not that expensive. If you just want to get out for a little bit or a full day trip, you can find a full range of free places to go get fantastic views. DNR tracks the fall foliage with weekly reports every Thursday. We have more recommendations on our website, WMAR2news.com. For WMAR2 News, I'm Abby Isaacs. And if you have a great place that you would like us to feature on trips that make sense, please let us know. You can send us your ideas to storyideas at WMAR.com. And meteorologist Stevie Daniels, she is also tracking the fall foliage. If we're yes, at I peak, am. near peak, past peak. Yep, so we're at partial peak. Partial right peak. Right now here in central Maryland. So this is mainly out towards Frederick County, but the farther west you go, you can see the different colors, the, so the brighter orange. Peak? So they are near their peak. Oh, they're near so the peak. So very okay. close to it in western Maryland. Okay. So it has to deal with when the temperatures get cooler and you deal with more rainfall, like our friends out in western Maryland have. That really allows the leaves to change a little bit more quickly. Uh, so that's why they're almost uh, at their peak right now. Uh, but we're expected to be near our peak later on this month, right around October 24th through the